Well, up and Adam, everybody, Hank and Big Ben with you on this a Tuesday morning. And we're very pleased that uh, the head of the Better Business Bureau of Central Massachusetts, Alex Guardiola, is live in Sherwood's a diner with us overlooking beautiful Polar Park. Alex, good morning. Good morning, Hank. Thanks for having us again. Yeah, no, this is a, this is pretty exciting because uh, I'm very pleased that you brought along from the BBB Cassidy Shaw with you. Yeah, so, you know, so we like to highlight our businesses. We like to talk about scams. But I also want to highlight some of the things that my team does. You know, it's not, you know, Alex Guardiola does everything. You know, it's <laughs> Team BBB, and that's how we get things across the line. So we're so excited to talk today about accredited businesses and how that side works. And Cassidy from my, our team is really spot on with all this stuff. So I'd love to introduce her. Cassidy Shaw, accredited business, uh, you know, want to make sure we talk about But she's also the chair of our events committee, and we have a big event, so there's a lot going on at the BBB. Fantastic. Well, Cassidy, why don't we start? Why don't we start first with the accreditation? Let's just talk a little bit about that, uh, about the BBB accreditation. We bring in the accredited businesses on a weekly basis here, and they all talk about how important that is to have that step, that step of accreditation. Tell us a, a little bit about it and from the BBB's point of view, why it's so important. Yeah. So first of all, thank you so much for having me on this morning. I'm very excited to be here. Um, and uh, I think the Better Business Bureau's, one of its main goals is to create a safe marketplace for consumers and businesses to both exist in. Um, and I think that when a business becomes accredited, they're vetted for things like government action. We make sure that they have like proper licensing. And I think that that instills trust in our consumers that do business with accredited businesses. It makes them feel safe. Uh, and like these businesses are participating in the fair and ethical business practices that we speak about all the time. Um, and for businesses, that means that the consumers that they're getting trust them initially when they see that seal on their website or if they see it on an invoice that the business had sent them. They, you know, feel a sense of calm. So. I, I wanted to have you maybe pick up a little bit on that too, Alex. That sense of, of, of calm. People really, particularly in 2024, we're looking for the businesses. We're looking for trust. We want to make sure that the people we're, we're working with, and especially if we're first finding them, are going to be trustworthy. Yeah, you know, it, it, trustworthiness is such a, you know, a unique thing sometimes. We don't talk about it enough, and we just say, oh, it's just a, it's a business. They, they have to be. Well, on the BBB side, we say you have to be an accredited business, which means you're vetted hard. We, we go through all the, the, you know, all the steps to ensure that they are a business you want to do business with. So when we talk about what, what Cassidy does uh, and our accredited business side does, it's really doing the homework for you. That way you can get all the things you want out of this company, knowing that there's going to be some trustworthiness there on the backside, and it, it eliminates some of that fear. And when you get that, you get that seal, Cassidy, so you go walking, I think most of us are familiar with that. We go walking into a business and we see that BBB seal or, uh, you know, our, our great friends over at Mill Street Motors, for example, right on their, their sign is they're telling you, like, here's our cars and here's everything else. Yeah. And it says A plus, you know, rating, rating with the right. BBB. They want to make sure that they get that, that they get that out there for everybody. Those businesses also are able to uh, avail themselves of all kinds of different things that the BBB is able to offer. And I don't know if people un, you know, realize that, that it isn't just that there's the, the vetting and then here's your, your plaque and that's, that's it. As a BBB accredited business, then you have access to all of these great things to help your, your business thrive. Right, right. And, you know, one of the biggest benefits of being an accredited business is that seal. Um, it shows your credibility and that you are committed to a fair and ethical marketplace. Um, and every BBB is a little bit different, but ours, 100%, you get access to your business profile on BBB.org, for example. So you can update your profile, make sure that it has accurate information. Uh, in there, you can also get our reviews app, our review solution app. Uh, it streamlines the review process for your customers. You send them a textable link that they can fill out a review for your page, um, and it goes right on BBB.org. Uh, you can also get leads through the Better Business Bureau's website, which non-accredited businesses can't take advantage of. And if you're in Worcester County or one of our seven towns in Northeast Connecticut, <laughs> then you can be on this radio show. Um, and, of course, our events, which we've been trying to ramp up our face-to-face -face presence, not just with businesses, but with our consumer side, too, so our community in general. 
Now, Cassidy, Alex said that you're you're also doing the the promotions and that there's a big one that the the BBB has coming up that we've been talking about for a couple of weeks. What are some of the other promotions that you that that you do? Uh, are you speci- are you specifically yeah, talking about, about our event? Yeah, well, I know that we have the big event, and I want to get to that. I don't want to bury the lead, but I want to get no, to no, that no. In, a, uh, <laughs> in a moment. But I was thinking, just as we're talking about some of these businesses, uh, promotions that you do that can involve them or can help or can help some of the, the businesses that you have as well. Yeah, so our accredited businesses can also take advantage of advertising on BBB.org. Um, and as far as other events that we are working on, we've been talking a lot about doing seminars, whether they're industry-specific or some topic that affects a bunch of different industries. So more recently, we've been talking about doing um, an interest rate seminar. We're thinking about doing a three-part series across our region so we can get different perspectives uh, for everyone. Um, yeah, as you mentioned, Hank, you know, obviously, and I don't mean to interject, but it's just one of those things where it's very important because, you know, development and, and financing go hand in hand. And, you know, as interest rates went up, a lot of projects stalled and a lot of projects did not get lifted as quickly as they should have. So now that interest rates may be going down and again, election time, it, it's, it's <laughs> inevitable, but we want to make sure that developers, real, realtors, everybody knows what is now available and what they're forecasting. We want an economic forecast of interest rates with our banks, make sure that in, in availability here, this is the, oh, these are the programs that we offer. So again, it goes hand in hand with financing, development, interest rates. Let's, how do we get that message out? So these are these the seminars that we're going to start putting on, starting with uh, Q4 and then starting Q1. Boy, no, that makes a uh, that makes a lot of sense. That's uh, that, that's fantastic and great for all the accredited businesses, all the partners of the the BBB. Now there are the Central Mass Awards; those are coming. What what's that going to be about? Right. So uh, we do the Central Mass Marketplace Excellence Awards every year um, for our Central Mass folks, and then we do another one in April for our Western Mass uh, businesses. But essentially, it is a night to celebrate our accredited businesses and those committed to an ethical marketplace. And this year, we're trying to pivot a little bit and make it more of a networking event. So we definitely want to honor people at the event. We will be having awards. But uh, the majority is to make sure that other accredited businesses know that they can come and network with one another and they can chat with each other. So, Alex, the networking is a huge part of these events. Yeah, totally. I mean, that's that's how you do business, right? I mean, you have to get to know each other, get to know, oh, I need an insurance person. I need, you know, a financer. I need a developer. I need a, a window person. I need X, Y, and Z. So this is an opportunity to get together, celebrate these businesses that have done the right thing and deserve this honor, but also to get to get to know each other. Right. We're uh, you know, we're out of covid. We, we finally get to back go back into, you know, face to face events. And this is one that we can it's, it's a happy event that we can kind of get to know each other a little more. And Alex, some of these some of these businesses have been BBB accredited businesses. Longer than then you have been alive longer than I have been alive. I mean, some of them go back a ways. Yeah. So we also yeah. do that. You know, we honor milestones and show that, hey, you've been an accredited business for a number of years. You should be recognized that you've been doing all the right things for this long. So it's a good opportunity. Uh, we do have, you know, uh, people that are going to be coming and speaking. Um and I don't want to steal the thunder from Cassidy because she is the chair of our events, but, uh, you know, Senator John Cronin, he is a person that we uh, are so happy to have. We have Hank Stoltz emceeing this thing, you know? Oh, I hear we, that guy's great. <laughs> <laughs> so we have, a, we have a good show. So uh, for, for those who don't know, Senator Cronin, uh, regardless of your politics, you know, he, he was a, a West Point grad, two tours in Afghanistan. We have an, we have an award for vet-owned businesses. It kind of all works together, so it's yeah. a good time to celebrate each other. Wonderful. What else do we need to to know? And definitely give us the details about how people can get signed up. And it's in a really cool location this year. Yes, absolutely. So we're doing it at Wachusett Mountain Resort. Um, we're in the Granite Room. Um, tickets are going to be sixty dollars each. Uh, you can buy a table for six hundred. And um, it starts at five and ends around nine o'clock. So we're going to start with registration and a cocktail hour. Then we'll get into our awards and our keynote speaker, John Cronin. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, we'll end the night with dinner and a reception. Um, And you can buy tickets online or you can reach out to events at cne.bbb.org. Or you can give me a call. um, yeah, call us right at that, 508-755-3340. We're happy to help. There's always a person on the other side. 
When a business first becomes uh, a business at the at the BBB, are they accredited right away, or there's there's a, a process that they go through? There is through, a process. process so you know, through. and I'll let Cassie speak. But again, there's a vote on this. Yeah, <laughs> it okay. goes through our board. So right. So we invite businesses to become accredited, and if they choose to participate, they go through a vetting process, which can take up to two weeks. Um, for that to fully happen. And again, we check for government action, licensing, things like that. Um, and then once they become accredited, uh, my other half in the accredited business services office, Joe, will give them a welcome call. Um, and another event that we were actually thinking is uh, new accredited business um networking events. So we want to bring our new ABs from the quarter in to ask us questions, whether it's me, Joe, people in our reviews and complaints side, stuff like that, um, just to get everybody acclimated, make sure they're all set with their benefits and their accreditation. People want to get signed up for the meeting. People want to become an accredited business of the, the BBB or just find out more. Where's the best place for them to go? They can reach us in office at 400 Grove Street in Worcester, um, or again, they can call our main line, 508-755-3340. Very good. Cassidy Shaw, thanks so much for being here today. Thank you. Alex Guadiola, President and CEO of the Better Business Bureau of Central Massachusetts. As always, thanks for stopping by. Thank you again for having us. We appreciate it. We do have more to come. It is the talk of the Commonwealth on the Radio Worcester Network.